If you have a DRO and a quick change tool post on your late, but are still using the tail stock for drilling, you are missing out on one of the biggest benefits of having a digital readout. Drilling with the carriage is much more convenient. Peck drilling is easier and faster. You can feel what the drill is doing. And most importantly, you can use the DRO to drill to a precise depth. The chuck holder must be set to be coaxial with the spindle, so there is a bit of setup involved, but it's much easier than you think. We will do it in three steps. Vertical, angular, and horizontal alignment. Let's start with setting the tool holder height. For this, you will need an indicator, a surface gauge or an indicator stand, and a piece of round stock. A ground dowel pin, an end mill shank, or a centering drill will work. First, we will hold the dowel pin in the main chuck and set the height reference. The chuck will probably have some runout, so we'll need to account for it. Let's preload the indicator and spin the chuck until we find the low point. I'm going to carefully zero out the dial here. Make sure that we are still on zero. Now let's find the high spot. Looks like this chuck has about a thousandth of runout, so I'll turn the spindle until the runout is about half of that. and zero out the gauge. We've set our reference, so let's now move the dowel pin to the drill chuck and set the height. Now I will lightly snug up the clamp and turn the screw until the indicator gets to within five thousandths. When I fully tighten the holder, I'm two thousandths under. So now I loosen the clamp, turn the screw a bit, retighten and recheck. Perfect. Tighten the locking nut and recheck the height. This was the most time consuming part, but it only needs to be done once. Next, we will square up the tool post. Usually, it's enough to align the tool holder against the body of the chuck, or you can sweep the dowel pin with an indicator and dial it in as needed. In this case, one thousandth over two inches is more than good enough. To set the chuck on center horizontally, we just need to figure out how far to move the cross slide, and this is where touched yarrow comes in handy. For small parts, the easiest way is to use the center function. Here is how it works. Touch off the dowel pin to the side of the workpiece. I'll use a feeler gauge. The thickness doesn't matter. Without retracting the cross slide, Tap the X button in Touch DRO. In the X Axis Details dialog, tap the Zero Set button. Leave the dialog open and touch off the dowel pin on the opposite side of the part. Without moving the cross slide, tap the Center button and close the dialog. Now move the cross slide to zero and the chuck will be on center and ready for use. Now let's look at a more complicated method. For this, we will need to know the diameter of the part. This one is almost exactly one inch. And now we touch off the part just like we did the last time. I'm using a six thousandths feeler gauge for this. Switch touch DRO to diameter reading mode and the absolute coordinate system. Tap the X axis readout to bring up the set dimension dialog. We need to enter the part diameter, one inch in this case, plus 0.25 for the diameter of the drill shank, plus six thousandths for the thickness of the feeler gauge. We are in diameter mode, so we multiply it by two. Now move the cross slide to zero, and we are on center. We're ready to drill. Not counting the initial vertical alignment, the setup took less than two minutes in real time, and it's close enough to work for this 0.9 millimeter carbide drill. This is all for now. Hopefully you found this video useful. 
Thank you for watching.